Hello, gentle viewers. This is Avindian. It's been a while. Welcome back to Stellaris with the brand new Haze patch. That's what we're working on today. Um, we have some things to think about, but I first wanted to cover some of the major changes to the game. First of all, <clears throat> You'll notice we have an edict cap. If we go over a certain number number of edicts, uh, it's actually going to increase our empire sprawl. Uh, that's one of the changes from the Haze patch. And it makes sense because otherwise there's very little reason to not just run all of them all the time. Um... You'll notice the new Nutritional Plentitude Edict. I can't use it because I don't have influence. That increases pop growth. Apart from that, there are very few things that increase pop growth now. So let's look at this. So we have genome mapping. We have the cloning tech. We have my coordinator. That's it. Oh wait, this is actually a terrible idea. This isn't one of our people. That's a Sinrath. Who cares about Sinraths? I care about my people. Yeah, and here we go. So basically what this means is net we have plus 15% to growth rate. And it used to be possible to just get stupidly high growth rates and completely ignore all the implications. Um, which is, of course, both good and bad. Uh, let's look at our empire. It's actually been a while since we've seen it. Uh, I'm just gonna, again, I'm just gonna keep this system marked. No, because they do want science ships to search in this area. But, yeah. Fallen Empire there doesn't like us very much. We'll be forming the galactic market soon. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, at least I hope we will. It should be a good time. We also don't have the galactic council yet. Um, that can't come until after the market is formed. So we're a bit behind in that. Other than that, it's been 57 years since the game start. And uh, we've got a reasonably okay fleet. We have a cruiser now, which is exciting stuff. Uh, the big reason we waited on this patch, though, besides, by the way, screw you, Econen. And I can't do anything about it either because I'm a pacifist. Oh, which reminds me. Uh, no more food policies. It's gone. Which I think is probably for the best. Why robotic workers outlaw? Do I have somebody who gets really mad if we have robots? Is that the issue? So you guys really, really want robots. You guys don't want sense, but otherwise don't care about robots. You don't care about robots, and you don't care about robots. And I think robots are the only way to solve our biggest issue currently. Which is, we can't really colonize planets. And this is, of course, by design, right? We are void dwellers. But it means that we're losing out pretty substantially. So I'm going to make a policy decision. And I'm going to allow robotic workers. I think that's just a smart play right now. I don't think we have to do it. This land appropriation. 
doesn't really matter and then everything else here is fine i can never change so basically if someone attacks me i can start claiming systems uh which seems pretty unlikely since these guys are my nearest neighbors and they're like pretty far inferior to me hmm i uh, do you have a spare construction ship Yeah, notice this. This is a huge difference. The base structure habitats are much cheaper now. And we'll eventually unlock some better habitats as we play the game. But uh, all that'll come later. Let's go and unpause. I have a fair bit. Now, here's our biggest issue right now. My naval capacity is only at 54. I can either have... What is my fleet command limit? That's a much better question. It is 60. But I think our best bet is probably a second uh, 30 command. Because you can only have a naval cap of 54, right? Let's do it. Let's make a second fleet. We're going to have Corvettes, Destroyers, and Cruisers. Where do I change the name for this? Oh, I probably have to... That's fine. Um, This is going to be... The same... I have 1, 3, and 20. That works. Sorry. There we go. Now that's obviously going to be an expensive proposition, and it'll take some time, but that's fine. Oh, there's also a lot more building slots. I think there's like a base level of building slots that weren't there before. Which is pretty good. I don't have a purpose right now for any building slots because everyone has jobs. No, tell a lie. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got loads of jobs. So many jobs everywhere. So we're just going to sit tight and wait until people... Oh, you need housing. Um, let's build a trade district. That'll fix the housing shortage. You need amenities. Our biggest problem is that we've got loads of people that could give us amenities and we're just not using them oh no we don't what's my best choice for amenities here um probably hollow theaters i don't think we have anything else that increases amenities is the thing no tell a lot there's the new mystic shrine Let's build us one of those. That seems like a good idea. And then everyone else is fine. Brilliant. That is a huge alpine world. And it's such a good world, too. I could colonize you. I really could. And then just make clear that only my people, that only the Sinrath will ever grow there. I mean, that's too huge a world for me to leave alone. 
it's it represents too much of an increase in the power of our people. Yeah, I don't like that they passed that one, but there's also nothing I can do about it. Construction complete. Nice. System surveyed. Give me some of those mining stations and observation posts. Who died? A scientist. I guess we'll need to get a new one then. Um, we'll take the carefree Joprafen. That seems good. And we're just going to build up on some, um... Oh, hang on, you. Okay, you have things to do. Perfect. Um... I got the Tactical Response Fleet. That's an awesome name. I love it. Uh, you do not have something to do. Why don't you? Oh, right, because the, the guy died, didn't he? He sure did. Okay. In the grand scheme of things, I'd say we're not doing too terribly. Relaying transmission. I agree, but I think this is the problem we had last time, where the other person votes no. Yeah, polity of lore call. Stop it. Stop blocking everybody just because you're grumpy. Like, I definitely want those guys in our group. And I think this is why we need to start pushing some things around in our um... We do need centralization, which we can't get to we're level two. But I really want majority vote for inviting members, or I'll just kick them out. But the thing is, that probably won't work. We would actually need a third member. Hmm. What does this two mean? Does it mean that there's two new things that have been added? I agree. I think we should not have slaves. I'm going to keep this abstain for now because I don't want anything to get any more momentum than this. That's why I won't back this even though I love this idea. If I back it, it's then going to overtake forming the galactic market and I want that in the worst way. And yeah, I can't propose. I mean, yeah, I still think using the Sin Wrath to start. Technology researched. Ooh, what did we get? Nice. Um, all these are actually pretty trash, except for star holds and standardized cruiser patterns. Let's go ahead and get star holds first. Uh, and then let's go ahead and colonize. I do want a new world. I still need more alloy. It's got to win another couple of months. Which 
to quit killing my scientists. I don't approve. You can just do whatever right now. Auto explore. Look, just because we have to live as our gods intended on temp orbital habitats doesn't mean we can't send our friends and then govern them. I think that's a wonderful idea. Let's do that. System surveyed. Technology researched. Ooh. Now this still does give us, um, okay. So this is something that I want to talk about because I only realized it watching someone else's video. I always get this passive effect. That's what makes it a passive effect. It's only if I spend the influence that I get the active effect, which is the ability to turn a world into a Gaia world, which I don't care about. So we're just going to take the passive boost to pop growth speed and, and accept it and love it. Applied quantum physics. Nice. Hyperdrive 3. This is my advice to you playing your own game to Stellaris. Never pass up a hyperdrive up. upgrade. Just don't do it. It's too important. It is too important. Oh, right. I literally can't do anything with you. Can I? I want to basically build... Uh, I want to get over here. Not just because of the resource, although I definitely want those too. But so I can build like a nice defensive outpost. Like maybe at like... Taya de Te Dialara. That sounds System surveyed. Right. Uh how much is my dear friends a star base? I'm short on three alloy. Go build that, please. How are my orbital habitats coming along? Plenty of jobs. Maybe not you. Hmm. Why are the Valert coming here? That's strange. Huh. Oh yeah, the thing that everybody always did, which was pop planetary growth, uh, that's not a thing anymore. Did I lose another scientist? I lost my envoy. I don't care about that. You know, I should be running an edict, shouldn't I? Mm. Ooh, uh, observation post time. I do want to uplift somebody. I think it's very thematic for us. We're going to try. It's going to cost me 10 energy and 5 global. But the system isn't that worthwhile. And we could potentially invite them to our federation. And then use them to kick out the other jerks so I can have the people I want. System surveyed. Okay, vote is coming. I'm 100% in favor of this. And I hope everybody is. 
the sooner we get that, the better. This is a nice little fleet here. I've got tons of energy. And they took, oh, by the way, one of the best changes they made to the game is taking away the leader cap. Very smart move, I think. And let's get ship upkeep. There we go. Uh, do we have a need to really worry about piracy? I don't think we do. I think all of our trade routes are fairly well patrol. Like, if I look at the trade routes map... in pretty good shape here. We're gaining everything we ought to be. Unless I'm using the wrong button. Which is, of course, a distinct possibility. Construction complete. Go ahead and build me a research station. Please and thank you. And then come over there and build an outpost. And I'm going to turn it into a star base. And System it's going to be surveyed. a place I can sit and have quality defenses on. We found a derelict station known as the Star Petal, and it was apparently a celebrated luxury resort in this corner of the galaxy nearly a thousand years ago. It was tugged to a new location each year, but for some reason they pulled it into a gas giant. That is strange. Let's find out more. Uh, you there, science ship. Do the exploration thing. How are you meant to get to this star cluster? I'm just not sure. Did I already rival you guys? I hope I did. No. Yeah, see, I no longer fear you. We need to do something about you. But not yet. Uh, go over there and wait. Uh, our coordinator died. I literally have one person who can be selected. So I guess we just accept it. Technology researched. System surveyed. Starhold is done. Um Let's take the boring but incredibly useful boost to mining station. I think that's lovely. And then go ahead and build all the stations there. 
And then I'm gonna upgrade you to a full fledged star core. You weren't elected, you were the only person there. Although, this is the first time someone other than my person made it. Where is my mandate? I can't go ahead and investigate these guys. That seems good. Interesting. The mandate isn't actually there. Oh, right. It's not a mandate. It's an agenda. Because we don't have, like, a proper democracy. We just have an oligarchy. System surveyed. I remember that now. Things here look pretty good. I'm just utterly shocked how many people are growing here that aren't, like, our people. Why are you guys unhappy? Relaying transmission. Uh, ancient mining drones. Let's establish a situation log post. updated. Look, I'm going to say agreed, and then the other jerks are going to say no. And it failed again. The Electoral Freedom Alliance, huh? You guys seem pretty happy. I like you. Like, I can spend some time trying to crush you, but it's frankly System not worth surveyed. it. Oh, we got too many minerals. That's problematic. Oh, uh, let's sell a bunch. And let's buy ourselves some minerals. Or alloy, rather. There we go. Done. Because alloy allows me to do so many lovely things. Like, I could build a new orbital habitat. We have triggered sentry guns. Ooh. Our archaeologists working on Uzun the second, Uzun two, accidentally triggered an array of ancient but still functional sentry guns. Yikes! Good work. We didn't die. Construction complete. Oh, right. You are now a full-fledged uh, starbase. Um, I think I'm going to make you an anchorage. Construction complete. Here comes a colony ship. The final days. The archaeologists working on the star petal have gathered sufficient clues and evidence to paint a reasonably clear picture of the station's final days. 
A straight asteroid impacted the station, knocking it into an orbit that would soon plunge it into Uzun 2's atmosphere. I keep wanting to say Uzun the second. That's not accurate. Station keeping thrusters could not compensate. The command staff soon issued an evacuation order. Unfortunately, the station only had enough escape pods to evacuate a fraction of passengers in mass panic. Soon erupted. Those who were not trampled to death perished. And it failed when it crashed into the gas giant. Oh dear. Oh dear. Construction uh, complete. Give me some of the mining stations, yo. Will you let me buy enough? Alloy. I have a plan. And I think it's a good plan. Wait, is this six? It is. Yeah. This would be a great place for a new habitat. A science habitat. I would dearly like one of those. We're actually kind of suffering a bit from food production. But that's what our friends colonizing this world will hopefully be fixing. Okay. Engineering. Thontoros, you have been recalled. Welcome back. You... You can be a computer dude, and then you can just kind of hang out. I'm waiting on the influence. I think I just need a couple more months worth. Colonization initiated. I love that sound. System surveyed. An actual proper colony. And it's such a good world, too. Okay, it's actually not that great a world. Decent mining world. Okay, eating world. Some hostile fauna. But really good society research. We got some... We've got some things to think about. Beautiful. Starbase me. Construction complete. I really wish I could squish you. I really, truly wish I could. The problem is, I don't want to waste Relaying one transmission. Influence. Technology researched. I'm going to keep saying yes, and the jerks are going to keep saying no. Because you guys suck. Um... Got a good advanced rail gun. Let's upgrade our shooty boys. Damn it. Construction complete. All right. Give me. Oh, we're way behind in influence. That's okay. A uh, construction ship. I'm going to send you forward. You're going to hang out until I get enough influence to start building an orbital station there. I'm actually... Go ahead and build the mining station, actually. You can do that much right now. Technology researched. Okay, maxed hyperdrives. Nice. Another research 
alternative would be amazing. Am I using moats for anything right now? I don't think I am. Let's go and get research alternatives. And then let's get going on one of the biggest upgrades we've ever done, which is a new hyperdrive. That was an odd bug. All right. How much is this going to cost me? Not very much. Do it. We are actually over our admin cap just. Might need to fix that in the near future. How are we doing for time? Situation log updated. The galactic market is born. We can promote one of our worlds for this purpose. I think we should promote this world. Oh, that's going to cost... Ooh. System surveyed. As cool as that would be, I don't have very much influence right now. Ships upgraded. Nice. I'll go ahead and build me... Where is it? I must not have the tech that I'm thinking I should. The one that improves all of your things. I'm going to do hydroponics, babe, because our food is actually getting really Construction low. complete. Okay. I'm sorry, but if I have 150 influence, although it would be super cool to have the galactic market, I think I have to go for another habitat. I think I just have to. Which is going to take some time. We have heard from the Logging Chews. And these are the Duwamox guy. They want us to murder people. Whatever, mate. Uh, we've rummaged through the saves. We've found a collection of artifacts and jewelry. The Heart of the Pulsar, which is a diamond necklace. That's a lot of energy. Nice. I approve. Um, right. You need housing. And you're going to need jobs soon. How can I kill two birds with one stone? Quite nice. I never even noticed that filter feature. That's that's lovely. Um, commercial zones, add upkeep. There's something here that adds housing. I know that there is. Because negative housing reduces stability, and I don't want people getting angry. I mean, I could build a stronghold. It does increase naval capacity. 
but it's only a temporary solution to the problem. I think we're just going to have to deal with a bit of overcrowding until we get a better solution to the housing problem. Uh, give me a Numistic Shrine. Maybe if the amenities are really high, stability won't be as big an issue. Because, yeah, I don't have housing to fix, which is always going to be a problem with our habitats. System surveyed. We just kind of need to accept that. Um, sure. Oh, upgrading habitat. How do I do that? Is it a decision? No, it's not a decision. What am I missing? Is it just not something I can do? Or does like a construction ship have to do it? You know what? Construction ship. If I, for example, tell you to come over here, you can't build it. You know, it could be because these are my starting. Actually, this would be the one I might be able to upgrade. Potentially. Oh, you know what? They were all, you know what? These were all built when the old version existed, so I don't think they can be... Oh, these can be upgraded. Yes, let's. Do that for any of these others? I cannot. That's fine. The Zufi Pawn League doesn't want me to go into their borders. You're making me sad, game. Relaying transmission. I want you in. The problem is the jerk faces don't want you in. And it fails again. It always fails. It's just so frustrating. And it's all because you guys are dicks. Mm -hmm. Like, I would like them to join us. And they want to join us. But the problem is our, our, Technology research. our jerk buddies don't want to. Ooh, I would like an unspent civic, thank you. Uh, that's a pretty tempting ability, if I'm honest. Increasing pop growth speed is really, really good. A heritage site is nice too. I'm gonna I'm gonna get that one. Oh that's right, this causes a Stupid number of influence, doesn't it? Yeah, we're just gonna have to wait on that for a good while. Yeah.
I don't even know what I'd pick, to be honest with you. Um, you I can fix the housing shortage on. Give me another trade district. That'll fix that problem right up. Hey, I've already got a huge weight from my economy. I'm going to support this. I think this is more valuable to us than pangalactic recycling, which I'm going to oppose because I don't want them to reduce that power. When can we start the Galactic Council? Oh, it has to be... It has to be at least 20 years since it was founded before you can do a Galactic Council. That's fine. That is fine. Influence really has become... a massive limiting factor in this game. And I don't like it. Uh, what would you like us to buy from you? A, what does this do? Not interested, but thanks though. Um, oh God, we are hemorrhaging consumer goods. We're gonna need to fix that. I can get a cruiser for 2,500 credits. Done. How good is this thing? Is it super good? It is very good at damaging armor, but it's otherwise fully upgraded. You know what, my dude? Join in. There you go. That's one less thing I gotta buy later on now. Which is quite nice. So, it's 2,500 credits for an instant cruiser. That's a no-brainer type of decision. Come on! Hurry up, damn it, so I can make a research paradise. We really kind of need robots... System surveyed. Greener grass. Uh, somebody is going to leave the station of the exile. Well, they were a jerk anyway, I'm sure. You're getting low on housing, too. Um... That's not ideal. Who is the lowest on jobs? You are. But you spelled the new Mystic Shrine. That's a really good deal. I mean, I could use an admin office. To give me some of that thick administrative capacity. We'll build one. Why not? Now, uh, where are my supposed friends? Anomaly discovered. Ooh, nice. You're now a fertility preacher. What does that do? Oh, that's beautiful. That is so good. All right, you guys. Hey, guys. 
I need a favor from you. For one favor, I will give you... Five hundred energy credits. And I hope I can use this favor to ask them to vote a certain way. I don't know if it'll work that way, but we're going to try. Oh, you don't like Polity of Lore Call either now. Did you jerks did you jerks freaking rival? You did. One of the things I wish I was able to do, and I think would be very thematic. Let me Let me use I mean, I could just leave. Yeah, this is no longer doing me any good. Maybe I'll get invited to a cooler federation. But yeah, it's just not worth it to me. Ooh, the Conans really like me right now. Technology researched. Wait a minute. What if I pick up some UV lasers? You know what? Those would be lovely. But I could also get advanced shields. I want to take the advanced shields. We don't really use lasers all that often. Hey guys, would you like to form a federation? Relaying transmission. Oh, it's the Sinrath Hierarchy. Those were the guys I really liked and wanted to be my friends. Where are you, Sinrath Hierarchy? Oh, oh, it hasn't been going well for you at all, has it? <clears throat> you know what? It's fine. Maybe somebody someday will invite me to join a better federation. That one was just kind of trash. <laughs> We are now voting on regulatory facilitation. That's fine. And then I'm going to support buzzword standardization. What is my fleet power weight? 80. Yeah, a lot of people have more than me. It is what it is. Magnetic reversal. Good for a tiny bit of some good stuff. I, I approve. And I've got even more... Freaking influence problems. You make me sad, game. You make me sad. Anomaly discovered.
See, I wish it told me what that would actually mean, because I don't remember what the Cooperative Research Channels thing did. No. Oppose. We got it. Our very first colony. And it is a lovely one. Uh, instantly, agriculture district. I think that has to be the first thing we build. Uh, do we go ahead? First of all... Wait, what? It is literally not growing at all. Why not? I don't understand. Why are we getting it? Oh, here we go. It just took a second. Okay, great. Uh, go ahead and research it. We're so close to the 150 influence that I need. Ooh, nice. Um, I think we need to make some rivals. I think you guys are a good choice. going to insult you. Are you in great physical pain or is that your thinking expression? Yeah, I think we need some rivalries. I think it's the only way we can really boost our influence. I'm going to rival the Fallen Empire. Just kidding. Never. Ever, ever. Yeah, well, that's fine. I didn't like you anyway. System surveyed. You know, I actually don't remember if I like them or not, if I'm honest with you. But, whatever. Uh, construction dude, come on over and build me a physics station. How strong are you guys compared to me? All right, guys, it's time. Or it will be time here shortly. Ah, I can't build one over there. Damn it, that was my whole point for claiming the system. Once you're done, go ahead and build this, then. So I basically need science somewhere around a star. How's about over here? No. Because it's got to be around a planet, right?
That is our issue, isn't it? And our problem is that all of our science either comes from stars or it comes from, uh, from master. Oh, here we go. I could build one here. Perfect. That'll get us some extra science. And that'll probably actually be the last one of those I build for a while. But I just want even more research. I think that's going to be our key to success. What we really need, actually, is one pop. I'm just going to start breaking stuff. Okay, cool. Construction complete. Yeah, just end all the agreements with them. This is fine for right now. It's a pretty minor thing and it won't affect my influence as much. Okay. Yeah, we do need to fix the consumer goods situation, don't we? Who has jobs? You know what? Go ahead and build me civilian industries and we'll put one over here too. Technology researched. System surveyed. Nice. Um All workers work better is pretty terrific. Yes, let us begin the road to robots. Oh, that was another change in this patch, by the way, is that robots now take alloys to build and not minerals. Which I think is a very sensible change, by the way. Go ahead and spend a poop ton of alloy to upgrade things. Anomaly discovered. Cool. I'm always down for a nice anomaly or two. It only has one pop. My word has pop growth been nerfed. I actually approve of that though. We have traced the source, the unusual electromagnetic radiation emanating from Kajam 6 to be a secret subterranean bunker hiding a mega computer the size of a battleship. I can scrap it for a bit of stuff. I can crank up my research. Or 200 influence. Done. I've got so many options now. That was extremely worthwhile. 
Let us propose Costamog. I'd like you to become the Galactic Market Hub. Yes! They were literally waiting for me. That's awesome! We have a galactic market of our very own. That is awesome. And we got our influence back, which is even better. Decline. I'm going to rival you as soon as I can, so just deal with it right now. Here we go. Rivaled. Who else would I like to rival? I kind of want to rival the polity of Lorcal, too. Because you kept blocking my people. Well, I've got loads of people here. There, work to harm relations with them. And then I will declare rival with you as well. And then go ahead and assign another alloy, or alloy, envoy to this. And now I've got the galactic market. I am not selling my people into slavery. And my market fee is so cheap now. I love it. I love it very much. And with that, I think it's time to end the episode. I hope you guys are enjoying Stellaris. Um... We're in a tiny bit of a rut. Um, I hope we can break out of it soonish. We did just get the Galactic Market, which is extremely exciting. Um, we're hopefully working soon to a Galactic Council so that we can start doing some things with that. Um, and we've got Habitat number 5 on the way. Which is pretty doggone exciting. Oh, before we go, I didn't even realize that. Yes, go ahead and build me an outpost there. But until next time, this has been Avindian. Thank you for watching, and I bid you...